Welcome to another entry in the Commander vs. Video series. As usual, I'm your host, Justin Parnell, joined by my beautiful, lovely, wind streaking co host, Stephen Green. We're both also, playing green. Also known as Esteban Verde. We are, we are playing green. Now, it's interesting you bring up green because I'm actually playing a deck today that was the first deck that you guys saw me play on the uh, Commander Versus series. Although it's not the exact same deck. The original deck that I was playing was a Terial Tokens deck. Black, white, red. And I played the deck, but I didn't really get any use out of Terial. I was kind of just using it for the colors. And someone in the comments said, why don't you just use Rith? So you used Rith. And I was like, you know what, guy in the comments? It's a really good idea. So, so yeah, guy in the comments, thank you. We have now rechristened the terrible Terial as Rith the Awakener, and I'm awakened to the color green in my deck. I hope it's worth it. Well, it's definitely worth it, because black wasn't doing it for me. You know, I had a couple things, Grave Titan and... You didn't have Mirari's Wake. I did not have Mirari's Wake. And now I have a plethora of green cards that I'll be using to smash your part of your green-esque deck. Never happened. Well, so Rith the Awakener. The biggest thing that green's going to give me is sweet, more sweet things that make, create, double, triple, quadruple... Tokens. Tokens. Doubling season. One of the, one of the original Commander staples. Yes. The, the card that really exponentially increased in value just based on this format. So obviously, had yeah. to be the first card Auto in my deck. Auto include, yeah. Had to be the first card in my deck when I put green in there. As you said earlier, Mirari's Wake is uh, one, of, one of the most classic, one of, in my mind, when I started playing Magic anyway and started getting competitive, Mirari's Wake was like one of the most popular cards. So it's awesome in Commander. Obviously I'm playing green. Have it in this deck. Yeah, you gotta have it. Yeah, it's it's fantastic. You're gonna have tokens. Fantastic it's ramping, them. tokens. It does everything. What is this guy? What is Fury Stoke <laughs> Giant? So Fury Stoke Giant is a card that I missed the first time. And I was going through and trying to think of things that were excellent with tokens. And what's better than having a bunch of tokens than playing Fury Stoke Giant and dealing you 472 damage? It's a very exact number. It is. It's 230. Six, 236 tokens All right. tapping to deal that much damage. Math. That's right. <laughs> but if that doesn't work, uh, I'll just cast Hour of Reckoning and kill all of your creatures and keep my tokens around. Might work. Maybe my creatures will be indestructible. <sighs> they could be indestructible, but uh, and even if, it, even if it doesn't, you might have plenty of life because that's what Treva does, right? It is what Treva does. She gains life equal to the number of colored permanents that I choose when she deals damage to you. When she deals damage. She's going to deal damage. I mean... Rith might be standing her way. Well, if you're not attacking, then Shield of the Oversoul is going to make sure they Treva wins. Well, look, Rith won a Pro Tour. Treva is a Pro Tour foil. Those aren't the same thing. Okay. Shield of the Oversoul. Well, I'll make sure you don't draw any cards on my Zer's Weirding. So, all right. I see, I see a word that appears on all of your cards. It is Enchantment. Enchantment, yeah. Enchantment, Enchantment. Aura, that's Enchantment. Yeah, it's going to get them. And this puts an R into play uh, on it when it comes into play. Okay. So we get a little theme going. We do have a little theme. I'm going my tokens theme. And in Trevor the Enchanter deck. Trevor the Enchanter. Yeah. That's right. I'm going to bedazzle you. You won't see it coming. Well, usually you see bedazzling coming. Not with this the time. Do you have a physical bedazzler? No, I don't, actually. You should get a Trevor altered with a bedazzler. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see what I can do about that. So, yeah, basically, I'm going to be playing enchantments. What's uh, Talk to me about <laughs> Zer's weirding. weirding. Well, Zer's Weirding makes both players play with their hand revealed. Okay. And if a player would draw a card, that player reveals that card instead, and you or I may pay two life and you don't draw it. Otherwise, you draw it. Players don't draw it. You don't draw so it. So I go to my draw step, and you're like, nah, dog. I don't think you, I want you to have that one. And you're just like... We start with 40 life. That's... It's a lot of life. There's for 20 Zer's cards reading. that you could deny me drawing before I, you lost. I could also gain a couple of life. Hmm. Let's just, you better hope you don't get weirded out. I'm, it's, it's getting weird already. I might make a bunch of angels too. Well. There's no telling what's going to happen in this well, game. I, I have a feeling I'm going to be able to uh, match you with tokens if you're making angels. Mine fly. I'll figure something out. I'm going to have plenty. 
Don't you worry. You're, we'll see once you're the pretty game little starts. head about that. We'll see once the game starts. All right, well, uh, I'm ready to go and start my winning my die roll and winning game one. Yeah, but in game route, two and three, well, they'll be mine. In route to uh, defeating you in the second and or third game this time, we'll we're see. breaking the streak. <laughs> and it's starting with Riff. <laughs> Not going to happen. It's going to happen.